Hi, I'm Carmen, speech-language pathologist with your home health memory care tip. One of the things that we need to do when we're communicating with someone with a memory impairment or with dementia is to make sure we compensate for them. So oftentimes when it's a mild cognitive impairment, just having a written daily schedule or a calendar or a journal, just something to review at the beginning or the end of each day is super helpful. One thing that's important is not to continually reorient a person with dementia. You don't wanna go in and say, hey Dorothy, what day is it today? Because Dorothy's not gonna know. And so one of the things that is very helpful for individuals is when you wake, when you go in in the morning to greet them, you could say, good morning Dorothy, as you open the curtains. It's a beautiful Tuesday today. It's June 16th, 2020 already. Can you believe that? And here it is the middle of June and it's raining. I don't understand. So you make it more conversational in your attempts to orient them. But if Dorothy's not oriented an hour from now, it's okay. Don't continually reorient them because they're gonna feel like they're being quizzed and then they're gonna get agitated because they don't remember what day it is. But you can orient in a kind, friendly way. Orientation clocks are amazing because they will tell them the day, the time, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, and it gives them the date. So that's a way to compensate too if orientation is important. And orientation is important. There's research that has said that if a person is oriented, their fall risk decreases. So just something to keep in mind when it comes to orientation. It's also sometimes helpful to keep a memory notebook. This could be reference information. And again, this is for somebody with a mild cognitive or mild memory impairment. Might be names of phone, names, phone numbers, medications, that kind of thing. Or a list of things to do, like buy Mary a birthday card. Also, it could be things to remember. John is going on vacation the week of August 12th. Sometimes if they have something that they repeatedly refer to, and John is the son and he's gonna be gone for a week, and Dorothy has a tendency to ask the same question over and over and over again because she hasn't seen John. If she's constantly checking her notebook as part of her routine, she'll know John's gone for the week. He'll be back on Sunday and then she gets to see him. It's also, you can sometimes use post-it notes or signs with important reminders, like turn off the coffee maker, showers at 10 on Monday, that's a big one for someone moving into an assisted living facility who might need help with showering. That's gonna be new. They're not used to having somebody tell them when they can take a shower or helping them with the shower. But instead of them having to figure out the new environment and the shower schedule, posting it next to the door that says, showers Monday at 10 will help them realize, okay, I'm gonna feel great on Monday because I'm gonna get that shower. So we just have to make sure that we're compensating for their language abilities as well as their memory abilities. Get creative with it. There's lots of ways that we can help support them. So compensation, we got this.